Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to HIP.io. Today's video is going to be regarding Samsung SideSync. And if you don't know what Samsung SideSync is, this is the perfect video for you, obviously. It's going to be catered mainly towards those Galaxy users out there. They're running like the S7, S6, S5, um, Galaxy tabs. What SideSync does is it projects what's on your mobile device or your tablet and puts it right on the screen. So. It's like you're interacting with it. You receive notifications. So you'll get like a little control panel and whatever displays on your actual phone in terms of notifications will display up there. You also have a bunch of favorites. It actually shares out your screen. So you have full access to doing whatever you do on your physical phone through your computer. So you would actually see the screen. And on top of that, you'll be able to drag and drop files between your computer and your, your, your tablet or your phone which to me is super handy, especially if you're at work and you don't want to be pulling out your phone all the time. This is highly convenient. So without no further ado, let's get started. First things first, open up your computer and open up your favorite web browser. And once you do that, we're going to type in the URL that you see right above here. And I'm just going to drop that down in the description below so you guys could just click it and it'll be nice and super simple. Once you get to the page, once you get to the page, you'll then choose your preferred client. So if you're on a Mac, obviously you're gonna choose download for Mac. And if you're on a PC, you're gonna just choose download for PC. Once it completes, just find the file location where you've saved it and just run the install. Now this portion here is, everyone should already know how to do this by now. And this is no different. It's just gonna be nexting all the way through. So next, accept the agreement. I'm gonna create the desktop shortcut and the quick launch icon. So obviously SciSync has completed the installation. So before we hit finish here, uh, I suggest you go to the Play Store and just do a quick search for SciSync and install it on your mobile device. Okay, so here we are in the Play Store. I'm just gonna type in SciSync and then hit search. And it's the very first option here. You'll just click on that and you'll hit install. So now that the install has been completed, just hit open and you'll just hit allow to all these permissions because the app is going to interact with your phone. So it will need these permissions to make phone calls, access contacts and all that fun stuff. So now that you're in the SiteSync app on your mobile device, obviously, you can hook it up through your computer through a USB so it communicates that way or you can actually have it connect through the wireless network. So I'll just hit start. And as you can see, it's saying open SiteSync, turn on Wi-Fi, select the device and connect. And in my case here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to connect this through USB. Okay, here I am back at the computer again, and I'm just going to hit finish here. I also have on my phone, I have the SciSync app open, so let's go. Okay, so now you hear, see it here on the right-hand side. Now I'm going to plug in my phone via USB. And you'll notice that it'll give you a message on your phone saying, hey, do you want to give access to this device? I'm going to say allow and we'll just hit start here. And you'll see confirm Galaxy S5 connection pass key. So you'll also see this message on your phone. So you'll just hit OK on your phone as well as here on the desktop. So now you'll see SightSync connected to Galaxy S5 via USB. And I'm just gonna minimize this one right here to make it clearer for everyone. It did drop the icon like I wanted. And now you see here on the bottom right hand side, this is essentially the little console here. Um, the active key here, this is actually on my phone right now. So if I click on that, it actually brings up my telephone. So here you can see that it has opened up the console here. So here it just opened up because it, it was the active key notification here. It opened up right to that window. So I'm just going to hit the button here. So I'll just hit the home button. And you can see this is my exact interface on my phone. When I'm viewing my Galaxy through this app here, um, it will turn off your phone screen. So you won't be seeing what's going on. Um, so I'm just going to open up a couple of things. So let's, so let's just go into phone. And I'll just type, I'll be using my keyboard to type out and see how it works. And as you can see, 
I'm using my keyboard, or obviously you can't see, but I am using a keyboard to type everything out. So it's fully immersed, like everything's integrated. So I don't have to pick up the phone. I don't have to do an on-screen keyboard. I can use all my physical devices. So I am using a mouse right now. I'm using my keyboard. So I'll just minimize here. I'll click my home button. And then you can see it has all the apps here, here, side sync right here. I'll click back once again. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the app test, uh, or sorry, the file transfer test here. So let's just do here, I'll just do a, um, a bitmap here. And let's do a, uh, we'll do a Word document here. Okay, so now we'll just drag over the document over. And you'll see it's saved in side sync. And in order to access that, all we have to do is go into the file explorer on the, on the mobile device tablet. And then we'll go to device storage. And then we'll go right into the folder side sync. And there it is. There's the file I just created. It's now on the mobile device. And now let's try moving the bitmap file over. Okay, so I've actually had to change out that bit bitmap file there because it thinks the file's corrupted when doing the transfer just because it is a blank bitmap. So I just copied over one of my images on my local computer. So let's drag this one over and you'll see, and it once again, saved in SideSync. And we could then choose even the gallery down here. And just cause this is our first time we have to allow um, access to this location. And I'll just tap again to take over. And there you can see, there's the image I just put in. What a handsome fellow this guy is. <laughs> <laughs> so now to copy over your files from your phone over to your desktop, um, all you need to do is just browse your location. You'll left click and hold it down. And now you'll see there's a check mark there. Now, just once again, you left click, keep on holding it and now just drag it over. And that's it. And now you'll see it's right over here. And now you've um, copied your files to your desktop. Okay, so that's it for the copying of the files. Um, if you want, you could also add some more favorites here. Uh, so if you click on that, you could choose a, a default app that would open whenever you want. We do S Health or something and you'll see it there. Okay, now we'll take a look at more, the more option down here. If you click on that and you enable keyboard and mouse sharing, all this does is it gives you the ability for you to control your mouse on your phone. So if you were to enable this, it would say, let me just click on it here actually. Just hit okay on that. When you get to the edge of your screen and when you move it over, it will end up showing up on your actual mobile device. And you'll just see a, a mouse cursor going all over the place. So I'll just close that. I'll win this back up here. Next, we'll just look at the up arrow over here, or sorry, the down arrow. When you press this, you can choose always on top. You can choose to rotate your display here. So um, now let's go back here. I'll rotate it back. Obviously, if it was going to landscape mode, because um, we we're on the home page, it didn't go into landscape mode. But if you had, for example, uh, messages and you rotated it, then it would obviously put into landscape mode here. As well, you can also copy and paste. Um, you're prob probably already aware of that. But I'll just do it right here. Just click here. And there we go. Now you'll see it's there. So I'll just rotate it back. You could adjust the window transparency. So if you wanna make it see-through, it's up to you. Capture what this does, it takes a snapshot of currently what's on your screen. So if we capture this, it's, it's gonna to save to the default location of the desktop. And there it is right there, I'll just open it up and there you'll see it. Next we'll do enable presentation mode. And when you enable presentation mode, that allows for your device screen to be on as well as this page here. So that concludes the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button if you did. 
If you think someone else can make use out of this video, share it out and subscribe if you can. And that notification button so you are alerted when I do release new videos. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.